apparently a psycho lunatic crazy vegan you know the average vegan has gotten very famous on TikTok and is using that fame to spread as much nonsense propaganda about the vegan diet in an attempt to convince as many people to go vegan as possible. You guys know how the sky is blue? Like you're pretty confident in the color of the sky? Like no one could really convince you otherwise? That's how this person is with the vegan diet. The idea that someone is so brainwashed they cannot be reasoned with is something that eclipses some people's minds. There is nothing going on up there no matter what you tell them. Now for some reason uh, she has that SJW gender identification nonsense in her TikTok bio, maybe trying to appeal to everyone. Do we really have to get started off on the wrong foot with that BS? Like I can't tell whether you were born a man or a woman. LGBTQ. Protein, they really, really do. Who being vegan is healthy, you know it's true. Who plants have protein, they really, really do. So why the f aren't you vegan yet? No more excuses for you. What's the deal? Does she know that a vegan diet inverts gender because it wreaks havoc on your hormones? Is she setting an example? I mean, I'm assuming she's gay, which doesn't really help prove the point that a vegan diet is healthy. You know, whether you be an estrogenic soy fairy boy or a hairy chimpanzee banana girl, and the vegan diet is certainly for you. Animal proteins are the most nutritious foods to the human diet. According to the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine and the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, nobody needs to eat dead animals. Why not choose the side of compassion instead? So this is an obvious appeal to authority of these government bodies that tell you what's good for you, but I didn't know the carnivores ooh, have infiltrated TikTok as well. If my girlfriend follows a carnivore diet, will she get an Adonis belt as well? That's interesting. One thing in common for both the vegan diet and a feedlot beef carnivore diet is that they damage your hormonal system so much you start looking like the opposite sex. You know, whether it's a lack of animal nutrients to synthesize hormones or a boatload of estrogenic compounds used to raise the animal. No, you cannot buy wool. No, you can't eat honey. No, 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 no. Go watch Dominion if you forget why. We should put a vegan in the Arctic with a bunch of wool sweaters and see if they put them on. Only recently have humans been able to clothe themselves, keep themselves warm, with synthetic materials. It's always been wool from sheep, animal skins, hide, leather, but I guess all the vegans have to move to Hawaii because they can't tolerate a temperature below 77 degrees Fahrenheit without shivering. What's also ironic is that honey is one of the few natural sweeteners available in nature. The stuff vegans eat, fruit, sugar, dried fruit, dates, are all artificial in regards to their limited access. You know, where we see honey available in many different groups of ancestral people. If vegans existed just a few hundred years ago, they would only be eating grain porridges and barley stews. Modern food transportation has allowed them to follow an unrealistic diet, you know, whereas our diets used to be based predominantly around grains and animal products. Now the fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, frank and laboratory foods have replaced that meat aspect for vegans. Snack time? Eat figs, not pigs. Mm. I have to say, that is funny. You know, if this wasn't serious, if this was a satire channel, this is genuinely funny. Snack time? Don't eat dead animals. Eat delicious pineapples. Mm -mm. Figs and pigs. Dead animals and pineapples, some uh, pretty creative rhyming, but she's eating a giant bag of dried figs and a can of pineapples. If that doesn't tell you that a vegan diet can't be followed naturally, then I don't know what will. So yo, 
now really need to stop bringing up the Inuit and issues of food access. I have repeatedly made videos and specifically addressed this issue. People that have food access issues are in a category of need and necessity. That is completely different than what I am talking about. And yes, I understand that. When I talk to people about going vegan, I am talking to those of you that have a choice. And if we have a choice, and one choice causes harm and violence and death towards animals, and one choice doesn't, then why not choose the nonviolent alternative? That is literally all I am talking about. So stop bringing this up. We've gone over these three main points for a vegan diet many times. All of the arguments are wrong. It's not good for your health. The environment, climate stuff is all lies. And there are plenty of animals, rodents, gophers, fawns, insects, bugs, that die to grow crops, whether they're directly killed mechanically or chemically. Perhaps they lose their food stores because the grain is harvested. The idea that eating bread isn't violent because you can't see all the ants in it is just ignoring reality. God is good. If your God thinks it's okay to pay for the rape, torture, and murder of innocent animals that takes place every single minute of every single day on factory farms, then you need a new God. We mentioned that appeal to authority, just saying, oh, because someone that's smart, a doctor, says something, it must be right. You know, she's saying to watch these propaganda documentaries like Dominion and Earthlings, which were solely created on lies to convince people into this psycho diet. Ashton, did I read that correctly? You're asking me what I want when you go to McDonald's? Well, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I want you to sing the McDonald's song outside of McDonald's. You know the one that I had that has like over 7 million views? You know, it goes like this. Eating animals is wrong, McDonald's. Hurting animals is wrong, McDonald's. Share this song and change your entire menu to be vegan from now on. Hey, I guess she did end up in some warm climate, but look at her teeth. They're gray, lacking minerals, like they're about to rot away. So that's the end of our sex lesson, girls and boys. You can all put away your carrots and hummus now. Just remember, the only kind of meat that you ever put inside of you is the meat from a vegan boy. This is pretty creepy coming from an old lady dressed like a hippie. Also, TikTok is mostly young teenagers, so this goes along with the hypersexualization agenda we've seen in young people, you know, getting an 11 year old to question their gender. I mean, this crazy lady has over 2000 videos on her TikTok and I'm definitely not scraping through them as she's literally a living vegan meme. Uh, so you can look up that vegan teacher on TikTok if uh, you want to puke. And overall, I think TikTok is uh, excellent for vegans. They have a short attention span. They can't remember what they were gonna say 10 seconds ago. And the question that we have to answer every time is, why do they want you to go vegan? The government, the elite people, why are they shoving the vegan diet down your throats? Very simply, it makes your brain not work. You're much easier to control. You know, if you look throughout history, all the slave diets were gruel and grains and the animal foods were left to the rich. You know, there's a reason rich people eat caviar, tartare, go to any Michelin restaurant and they're all these raw quality animal foods. And the poverty, the middle class, low middle class, are all eating really low quality, crappy grain-based foods. It's almost as if it was planned out that the lower income people are eating lower quality food and the higher income people have more nourishment for their brains and bodies. And a vegan diet is attempting to get everyone to be less intelligent, less successful, and easier to control. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. If you can share the video on social media, if you guys do want to support me further, you can check out frank-stefano.com to reach out to me as well as my various businesses. As always, I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.